Hello everyone, we all love to play Pac-Man game. As a part of this session, we are going to create a Pac-Man animation. Yes, a small, cute little Pac-Man who keep on munching the dots. So let's get started. This is what we will be creating as a part of this session. We will draw a Pac-Man, actually two costumes we will draw for it and we will give it a behavior so that it keeps on munching. First step, create a new project in Sprite Lab. Okay, create a new project in Sprite Lab and quickly start drawing your Pac-Man. So I have this new project. I will quickly rename it to Pac-Man Motion. Okay, I will give it to, uh, give it any name as per your imagination. Go to costume and new costume and quickly start drawing your own costume. Yes, trust me, it is very, very easy to create a Pac-Man drawing. So let me show it to you. How, it, how did I do it? You may also have some better ideas than me. So, yes. Okay, this is the center and this is the center and taking the center, I will draw the mouth. Fine. Fill in the color. Same color we will fill. I will now at this moment make a copy of it. I will crop it and make a copy of it. Okay. So we have two Pac-Mans. You will come to know why. So this first one, I'm going to give a little cute eye. Simple. Okay. Uh, using this eraser tool, let's erase this not needed part of these lines. This one again give uh, an eye to it. And here I will fill this part also. Okay, sorry, I will need to fill it with yellow color. So I will first pick yellow color and fill it. So we have two animations. One animation with open mouth and another animation with closed mouth. So let's go to code and start putting this sprite. Make a new sprite. Which is right? Yes, of course, this Pac-Man is right. Uh, yes, 200, 200 is okay. You can also give it, uh, uh, you can also resize it if needed. So maybe you can resize it a little bit. Yes, I am actually making it big so that the motion and other things are clear enough. What next? We need to give it a behavior. How we will change the, how we will change its uh, costume to the closed one and how we make sure that keep on actually munching and munching always. So if we want something to be continuously happening in a sprite lab, what do we do? We use behavior. So we will go to behavior and we will create a new behavior. I will give it a name, maybe Pac-Man munching, a munching Pac-Man. Okay, you can give a description. The description, if it is meaningful, it is always helpful. So what do we want now? So first thing, we will have to check what is the current costume. And if the current costume is open mouth, change it to close mouth. If it is close mouth, change it to open mouth. So we will go to logic. We will pick this if block. And we will start seeing what is the current costume of this particular sprite. So if you go down, you will see, you will see this, yeah, costume, okay? We will use this. We don't need it. We will use this. If this is bright, costume is closed mouth. What do we want? We want to change it. So again, we will go to sprites and we will pick this. Change costume command. So if the... If this is Sprite's costume is the closed mouth while a Pac-Man, I will change it to open mouth while a Pac-Man. Else if, yes, here we will use else if because, you know, if the costume is closed mouth, it will always be closed mouth. Otherwise, it will be open mouth. So here we will check if it is open mouth. We will change the costume to, we will change this costume to closed mouth. Okay, but do you think only this much is going to work? Let me close it. 
give it this behavior, give my Pac-Man this behavior and see what is happening. Behavior, uh, munching Pac-Man, okay, reset and run. See, it is working, but it is working very, very fast. So actually what is happening with every frame, its costume is changing. We do not want the costume to change with every frame. Maybe after four or five frames or maybe 10 frames, my costume should change. So what we will do, we will again add this behavior and we will see the number of frames that has been completed. So for this, we will again take go to logic and use this if block. Okay, and we will check what is the current number of frames. So go to word and use this command. Time in seconds. Okay, so instead of seconds, we will use frames. If time in frames is equals to, uh, to begin with, I will put it for five. What does it mean? It means, you know, after five frames, after five frames. So we want to do, it, do this only after five frames. Okay, so let me close it, run it and see what is happening. So do you see after five frames, uh, the Pac-Man mouth is shut, but it is not opening again. So what do we do? What do we do? What, because this is happening because, you know, um, this is five seconds and then after uh, five frames and onwards it is six, seven, eight, nine and 10 frames. So, you know, this condition is basically becomes false. So what we will do, I have a trick for this. So after five seconds, we will again reset the timer. What does this resetting the timer do? Resetting the timer will basically again reset the timer to zero frames. Zero and then again, it will start one, two, three, four, five. Again, it will reset in one, two, three, four, five. So my time in frames is never going to go beyond five and it will keep on ranging between zero to five. And as soon as it becomes five, it will change the costume. So let's reset and run it and show it to you. So you can see this is working perfectly fine now. If you like this video, don't forget to share and subscribe. And please do let me know in comments if you want me to create a complete series where we, we can create a real Pac-Man game in a Sprite Lab. Do let me know in comments if you want me to create this particular video. I will be happy to put up these videos for you all.